I'm still not up on the almond milk. Oh, no, no. Ross. Rose still frightened. No, no, no. Get the almond milk. I just got up on 2% milk a couple years ago. No, 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 no. Get the almond milk. Now y'all trying to conspiracy. No, 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 no. And it's the question. Is it from the almond of the walnut? Is they squeezing it out of the peanut? I don't have that answer. And I usually have every answer. Today, we're going to be debating the greatest snack of all time. This debate will have an opening statement. Three rounds, a final closing statement. Unfortunately, we have to do family business. I love my opponent. I'm just putting him up on game today. What's the greatest snack of all time? That's got to be the easiest question I've ever been asked. Easy. That's the Rick Ross version of rap snacks. And when I say the Rick Ross version, I'm talking the rose cheddar. Late night, it's nothing like when those double doors open up. You feel me? After the club, though. Key. You done already ate Branzino. You done already That's ate right. Rigatoni. The lobster, you done yeah. had oh. the cauliflower with cheese. Substituting That's the right. mac and cheese, right? But you coming in after the club, a little twisted, but you got to put something on your stomach before you go to sleep. My brother, DJ Khaled, big question. What is the greatest snack of all time? I mean, for me, it would have to be the cinnamon toast crunch. But the key is with almond milk. See, that's the key. That's the problem. A lot of people just be putting milk like shit is cool. I'm not going to lie to you. I like it soggy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the, the cinnamon toast soggy. Wet, wet. Yeah, I, I let it sit. I let Whoa. it sit. No, but hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. When you mentioned late night. Late night, that's what we talking. Late I call night. this late night snack, but I also call it a great night. Imagine just getting done recording one of your biggest records and you just know it's the shit. And then you coming from the studio and you walking in the crib and you crack that bowl and put a little almond milk and cinnamon toast crunch on it. Then you go, boom. Mm. And have a spliff, knowing you just made the biggest record in the world. <laughs> you know that feeling? God did. God did. <laughs> yeah. Round one, I'm going with the cinnamon toast crunch sweet. You know why? Because people out there think life is sweet. See, at least I get to taste it and enjoy it <laughs> while they getting tricked, knowing the shit is hard out here and they trying to finish us. Woo! You know, I rock with rap snacks. You know, I got that. You know, I rock with it. But late night, why would you pick something savior and not something like, how can I say, sweet but refreshing? That's the word I was looking for, refreshing. Because, you know, when you eat chips at night, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot going on. We always got to brush our teeth. But now you really, you know, you really can't miss the thing. It's just a rinse. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. Rap Snacks got a real team. They know they chip. So everybody chip got a vibe. But like I said, number one, the rosé cheddar. The rosé cheddar, man. It's the champagne of potato chip. Like I told you, I stack mine. Layer. It's like a little sandwich late night. You know what I'm talking about? All you got to do to, to fathom this right now is just imagine coming home from the club. You know what I mean? But hold up. What's the outcome? Meaning as in after you enjoy it, you know, you're going to bed. Is your stomach bubbling? Like, are you go like, no, I'm saying when you when you go to no, 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 I know it's good. But sometimes are you going to bed and we good? No, no late no, no. night now. No, 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 no. I'm most definitely gonna have my date for the night of my, you know, my young lady, she's gonna be laying in the bed awaiting my presence. So she usually have to have a little patience while I enjoy the rosé chalice. You know what I mean? And after I enjoy the chips, then I go ahead and devour the situation. <laughs> Round two. Well, growing up. That's right. Growing up as a shorty in Kara City. That's right. You had to be somebody if you desired that Mercedes Benz. If you wanted to get a garage one day, 
Cause you never had one of those. You don't know what it right. feel like. I know where you're going. Car I know where you're going. To pull up in something. I know where you're going with it. You understand what I'm trying to say? No, I'm clear. So guess what? As a shorty, I said, "Damn, I want to be like Bo Jackson." That's right. I want to be like <laughs> Daryl Strawberry. Yeah. That's coming from nothing to something. So guess what? Now you pulling up to the gas station. It's 4:47 a.m. You just left the club. Uh. Guess what? Your gas light on. Boom. Your chick in the car. Boom. Your homies in the backseat. Fuck it. Everybody get out. Let's go in the gas station. Somebody digging for pocket change and they, they pocket yo, yo. They pull that door open in that 7-Eleven. And, and, and everybody listening, remember it's 4.47 a.m. You know, it's a different type of vibe now. Keep going. You pull those double doors open. You could smell those 99 cent hot dogs on that grill over there. And then, then the pizza's under it, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you try to figure out which one I'm going. And then you go, it's late night. It's, good. it's 4.47 a.m. I'm now. trying to tell you. And it's 7-Eleven. We came here for I'm, the gas. I'm with you. You feel me? But guess what? Soon as you swing your head to the left. And it's like a <laughs> rack right there. That rack. That rack. That rack is always up front. I know about the, and it's, you know about that rack, 4.47 a.m., you know what I'm saying, at that 7-Eleven. You grabbing that shit now. Even if you're not eating it, you gotta grab one because it's right there. Guess who everybody see right there? That's right. You know what I mean? And that's inspiration. Is inspiration. Guess what? We came from nothing. That's right. Now and we on the potato chips like Bo Jackson. Man. God did. God did. <laughs> if ain't nobody else heard us, guess who did? God did. Uh, nah, that's real talk. Studio. <laughs> shooting a video. Vegas. Dealing with all the lawyers. Money. You know, all the this this, you know, all the hard work we wires. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life, right? <laughs> Greatness. Then it'd be 4:47 a.m. Walk in the crib, take your shirt off. Feeling sexy. Taking your shirt off, you in your boxes, and then you get the bowl. The bowl gotta be one of the big bowls, right? Nice bowl. Yeah, but it gotta be thick, like, the shit heavy before you even put the shit in it. It's glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so, it, it's so heavy when you put it on the table, my wife's screaming, like, yo, you're making too much noise. I ain't even get started. Then the spoon hitting the counter, the granite. You reflect on life. You realize all the hours you put in all that shit we go through every single day, that one bite of the cinnamon toast crunch, it was all worth it. Nobody in the kitchen with you, and you just reflect on life. No, I see it. After that one bite of cereal, wow. bought a crib. Wow. After that one bite of cereal, dropped the number one album. Wow. After that one bite of cereal, let's have more kids. <laughs> After that one bite of cereal, honey, let's go shopping. <laughs> After that one, all this at 4.47 a.m. That first scoop. Is that eyes open or eyes closed? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be very honest with you. It's both. <laughs> because it's like you, you look at it and you make sure you, you got, and then you, then you close it. And then you, that's where the reflection comes in. So I want you to know how important that one fucking bite was. Your spirit connected yes. with the earth. Yes. Your soul. Yes. Connecting with the omen. Yes. Round three. What I love about it is, and I want to ask you the question, how not only is it inspiring and motivating that you have your own chips, but it also represents our life, our story, you know, the culture. culture. Talk to me how it's the impact of right. rap snacks. Right. Because it's about the culture, because it's black on James Lindsay. That's right. It's a brother I met running in the back streets in the clubs promoting artists and he actually was managing Meek Mill when I was introduced to Meek. That's over a decade ago. So he been really grinding and I love to be a part of history. That's right. I see this being bigger than wise, being bigger than ruffles. That's right. You understand what I'm That's trying right. to say? So I reached out to the homie. Hey homie, I see what you got going. I done tried all the chips. I love them. Rose need his face on something. I'm bigger than Bo Jackson. I like that. And guess what? We made it happen. Came up with the rose cheddars. We on fire. But more importantly, 
look who else on the bags. No, that's what I love. Young remember. dreamers, young entrepreneurs. Yeah, I love young that. Artists. I love that. So that's why I wanted to join the movement just to push it for the brothers and the other sisters that's involved with it. That's what I love. That's what we love. What I want to know is what really separated that cinnamon toast crunch moment from all those other honey smacks. Captain Crunch, the Honey Nut Cheerios. What was it really about that Cinnamon Toast Crunch? 170 calories, because uh, <laughs> some of them are 550 and 650, and you like, damn. When I found out it was 170 calories, I'm like, all right, we can get away with this, and we can still, we can still vibe. But also, Rose, you know, it, it goes back to the rap snacks. I be asking myself, Cinnamon Toast ain't figure it out yet. Why they ain't reach out? You ain't got Khaled on the, the, the cover, on the box. Like, you ain't figured it out yet. Somebody got to get me their number or I'm going to hit them on Twitter or the DM. Rose. Nah, you know what's crazy? They sent me one with my face and everything on it just for me. I was like, nah. But the streets need it. That's what I was trying to explain. I said the world need to feel that and see that to let them know it's possible to get your face on a cinnamon toast crunch and be on the box. God did. God did. This is the closing statement. My I know this is, this is a different way we doing it, but we don't. Let, before you do it, let it, let it vibe first. Let, let it, it vibe. vibe. Go ahead, let, let, it vibe. It let it vibe. Let it vibe. Let it vibe. Let it vibe. <laughs> uh, can we get some spoons over here, please? This GQ, they have everything. Think about the original milk they used to eat, and I think about this one. In the back of my mind, I say, is they squeezing it out of the peanut? There's no way in the world I'm gonna go against what's better, you know why? Because each moment is for, for each person different. And when he broke down how rap snacks was to me, I felt that. That 7-Eleven at 4.47 a.m., you have a chance to get that dried up hot dog or that pizza that's been sitting there for 10 years, or you can get that front row potato chips with your idol on it. I'm going for the chips, the stack of chips. When it comes down to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, this is when you come in the crib. This is at 4.47 a.m. after you worked so hard, you've been through so much shit, and you took your shirt off, and the AC is on. You know like I time? told you, I stack mine, layer. God did, all glory to God. If you know I won, put it in the comments right now. Say, Rosé! Everybody knows who won. <laughs> I did. But everybody has an opinion. And I don't care about your opinion. Now pour us two glasses of almond milk, fresh yeah, and you gotta strange. Hit, you gotta hit show.